Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we'll be going to work with Rosie, who is a corporal in the detective career, which is level three. I don't think she's going to get a promotion, but that is perfectly fine because we are going to finally interrogate a suspect today. I don't care if it's on our little mini task thing, we are going to do it. Oh, I didn't get a chance to put this away, but that's fine. Duty calls, the world is a never ending cesspool of grime and crime, and it's time for Rosie to take the big bite, what, to take a big bite out of it, Sounds gross. Yes, we would like to join her. I didn't have music turned on in the last video, so I hope that didn't bother some of you. Uh, you probably didn't even notice, but I've turned it back on, um, and my mouse cursor still has the little circle X thing in it. Anyway, so I'm super excited to interrogate a suspect. We had like a super major failed thing in the last one because I desperately wanted to get a promotion, and I just... <laughs> it was just a mess last time, so never again, or maybe, oh, but look, it's still the same, <gasps> we're still working on the same case, I was really worried that we would not be working on the same case and we would just lose all of our progress, but no, it's, this, it's still the same case, oh, that makes me really happy, okay, cool, we have to add clues to the crime map, we have to cross-reference the police database and discuss case theories with coworkers. <gasps> Oh, I am excited. And my mouse... Ah, oh, dang. Shoot. Why did I... Why did I try to put the salad in the in the fridge? I just didn't want it to go bad, you know? It's really distracting. <laughs> All right, so we are going to add our clues. We have some in our pocket, I think is what we're taking it from. So we're going to actually fill this bad boy up. Whoa! What? We did not take these pictures, but okay. Oh, wow. This is so exciting. Okay, Rosie has discovered a clue. Clue discovered. Oh, Rosie has discovered that the suspect is a teen. Sweet. Rosie is off to work. Oh, yeah, she acquired the video gaming skill in the last video. She could further develop her skills on computer, tablets, motion game rigs, or even on her phone because she was using our brand new computer. Yep, I've definitely, because I tried to put that stupid bowl of salad. She didn't even get to finish her food because I ran out of time, so she's a bit hungry. Um, but it's fine. We might be able to grab something to eat really quickly. Should I just do that now? I'm pretty sure we have like a vending machine or whatever here. Yeah, do I want to buy a snack, a pastry? Should we get a sandwich? Just hurry up and go get something, please. Buy it. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, so now that that's done, let's go ahead and travel to crime scene. And hopefully we don't screw anything up <laughs> because that was just seriously, I was so worried in the last one when we went to work with Rosie. I mean, not the very last video, but the last time I thought we just messed something up. Oh, we're at the same place, I think, too. At a crime scene, you can find clues, blah, blah, blah. Yep. We, it's the same thing. Um, oh, they're crying. I think this is exactly how it was, too, except I think this little burnt spot was over here. Um, all right. Well, Collect evidence sample, take evidence do. picture, and, oh, Summer, Summer, are you okay? Take witness report, you poor thing. We're doing the exact same thing in the exact same area. Do I? <laughs> I don't know. Um, this action has already been performed. Okay. A witness report has been added to your inventory. Maybe because I like met. Maybe I actually did mess something up and so they're making me do it again. Or maybe I have to come back here to take even more pictures because maybe they think I missed something. So that's understandable. Oh, hey, look who it is. Hobart. Wilmer Valderrama. As I like to call him, I should just change his name to freaking... What was that no... What? Oh, hey, look, footprints! <gasps> that noise freaked me out. Can you get out of the way? You're, like, actually messing up. Whoa! Oh, wow, I'm finding all of the stuff now. I'm finding all of the things. Get out of the way, yo. Get out of the freaking way, man. Oh, no, I already got it. I mean, woman. <laughs> okay. So we are taking the pictures, and we need to uh, collect the evidence. 
<gasps> well, we also found a shoe. <laughs> Holy, I cannot believe it. Holy moly. No, this is mine. This is mine. This is all mine. I'm taking the pictures. Go away. How dare you? I can't believe that we've... Is it because we found another clue that it's unlocking more stuff for us? This is amazing. Oh, this is so awesome. This is freaking awesome. I hope we find this sucker and we, we get to interrogate this, this mofo. Okay, so what else is there? Let's go over here search for clues. I'm going to actually watch this happen. Oh my goodness, I can't freaking believe it. I cannot believe this. This is amazing. Uh, all of this has been added. Travis provided an account of what they saw. Thanks, Travis. You cool. Get another witness report. Who the heck else is here? No one. So, please, enlighten me. Tell me where another person is. Dude, there's no one else here. <gasps> How dare you, game? There actually is no one else here to get a witness report from. And they're telling me I need another one. What? Let's just search for clues. I want to see if we, we find something different. Oh yeah, we found the matches. Whoa, what's that? What the heck is that? A piece of cloth? Oh wow, we found something. Oh wow, is that a wallet? No way. Yeah, we found, I think this is a wallet. It looks like, it's a wallet. Come on, it's a wallet. Hobart, go away. Stop trying to take credit for everything that I'm finding. We gotta use the toilet. Okay. So we got that. We're we're getting this. Um, we're going to collect evidence and then we're leaving because this we're we're just this is I there's so much more stuff than last time. Okay, go go go. And then we're getting the heck out of here. We're the best detectives. Hobart has nothing on us. Let's return. This crime scene will be cleaned up once you leave, and you you will un be unable to return. Are you sure you want to leave now? I mean, they say that, but I mean, we came to the exact same place we came to. The, we went to the first time. <laughs> so I don't know what that's all about. Maybe it was just pure luck or something. But whatever. Oh look, we've got another witness report. And <laughs> I think when we go back and forth and we don't complete the tasks, it automatically makes them complete for some reason. Analyze evidence, get criminals' fingerprints at the booking station, and cross-reference this stuff. So before we do any of that, uh, should we just... We need to interrogate a suspect. So that's something that I want to do. Is she hungry or anything? She's hungry again. What the heck? The sandwich did not fill her up. There are no suspect you've arrested to interrogate. What? <laughs> no. Okay, fine. We will try to do this very quickly. Cross-reference the police database. Uh, we'll do this, and then we will analyze evidence. Analyze evidence. We're evidence sample. Sure. And get criminal's fingerprints at the booking station. So, fingerprint. There's no one who needs to be fingerprinted. What? What did that say? There's no one who needs to be fingerprinted right now. Okay, I read that correctly. What a day of work. Olive is back home and she has earned 280 civilians. We have to add clues now. She's sad. And this is... I'm, I'm pretty sure being sad totally messes up everything. <laughs> Ooh. This is so cool. Analyze evidence. We're going to have to talk to people. Discuss case theories. Friendly introduction. Discuss case theories. So, um... Let's just chat it up a little bit. We've got a bit of time. APB available. Rosie has enough clues to issue an APB at the crime map. Collecting more clues before issuing an APB will increase your ability to find the suspect. Oh, deduce new clue. Deduce new clue. Issue APB. Should we deduce a new clue? Let's. That's probably good, right? And then we'll um, issue APB. Rosie has discovered a new clue. Clue discovered. Rosie has discovered that the suspect is wearing a tank top. Uh, I think we could check our notes. Analysis failed, and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so, let's check our notepad. Call sadness, oh, we could call sadness hotline. So, suspect is a teen, and suspect is wearing a tank top. How much time do we have? One hour and 59 minutes. Rosie wasn't able to deduce any new clues. Okay. <laughs> Issue APB. So... This is very tricky. Should we try to issue an APB? I don't even know. 
question mark. I don't even know. Oh, it's gonna exit out of that, but I can't. All right, wish me luck. <laughs> oh, intense music means uh, something is going to happen. Something, something bad is probably going to happen, actually. A suspect fitting the APB description has been spotted in this area. Ask around to see if anyone can point you toward the suspect. Use a notebook to review. Blah, blah. I already know that. So, there is a... a okay. Uh, Alright. So, we have two suspects here. I see. You're wearing a tank top. And this uh, is pretty much considered a tank top, I want to say. This one more definitely... But you're, you both look like teens. Oh, you're a young adult. You're an adult. You're not teens. You're a teen, but this isn't a tank top. No, this is, this is a, this is a tank top. This is a, this is a t-shirt. This is a v-neck t-shirt or shirt. <gasps> wait, but there's someone inside you. That sounds weird. Uh, elder. Oh, wait, no, there's, a, wait, what? There's someone inside you. Hold on. Are you, that's not a tank top. That's a jumpsuit. Oh, wait, there's a teen inside you. Young adult teen there is are you you're an adult and you're a teen where uh, I don't know oh hey look there's an entire band playing here Hobart what what are you doing here Hobart are you uh, undercover because that's cool. Ask you about suspect. Ask about suspect. I'm going to ask all of these people about suspect and see what they have to say. And then I'm going to arrest you. <laughs> because I think that's obviously you. Because we have, like, no time at all. What the heck is going on? Come on, we have no time. Yep. Okay, she pointed right at her. Uh, now who are you talking to? Where are you going? I'm looking straight over there. Ask about suspect. We have no time. 43 minutes? I'm sorry, but I can't help you. Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm arresting her. I don't even care. I don't even care. It's you. It has to be you. It's you. Ugh. Please tell me I'm right. I think we're going to have to wait until we can interrogate her because we have no time left at all. So, unfortunately, we're just going to have to wait for that one. <laughs> you know, it's really looking forward to it, but it's all right, I guess. We have how many minutes? 26 minutes. Future editing Nicole here. So I, while I was editing, I saw the guy with the cool green mohawk, right? And a tank top. And I realized that, oh my goodness, it could have totally been him. And guess what? It was him. I went back to an earlier save and I, I got some more clues. I didn't want to like re-record any of this or anything but um I got more clues and one of them said that the suspect was a male so I have arrested the wrong person probably someone who's never done anything bad in their entire life and now I feel terrible but I'm looking forward to seeing what is going to happen like when we interrogate her what is the game going to <laughs> like punish Rosie and is she going to lose job performance so I thought that would be funny I just I was in a rush you know because Rosie's shift was about to end and I thought I it had to be one of the chicks that was waiting outside of the place for whatever reason but yeah it was it was definitely the kid with the green mohawk and the tank top I cannot get over the whole tank top thing but I was just in a rush and I had to choose someone and now I've I, I feel bad they were also kind of like next to each other ish when they were pointing at them too so that made it even more confusing oh I don't know I feel so silly it, it's all right <laughs> so I had to include this and uh yeah now back to the rest rest of the video. She's very sad. I think what I want to do is have her call the sadness hotline. So maybe we could wait until, um, oh no, she's not sad enough anymore. She's actually desperate for fun. What? Wait, what? Where do you think you're going? <laughs> lock up in a cell, lock in cell. Hello. We'll, we'll interrogate you next time. Next time we come to work in a 
few sim days probably because in the next video we'll go to work with Liam because it's Monday yeah and then for sim Tuesday we'll hang out with them go visit uh, a lot or something because uh, what my plans for future videos is to spend three days of work with them and then take a vacation day with them or just like a hangout day and do other things outside of work or try to like uh, anyway rosie did a fantastic job job today there may be a shinier badge and a new title in her future it's guaranteed come on don't don't say may it's totally going to be a thing to, that will happen <laughs> but she got 445 simoleons good job rosie and you arrested someone that we will interrogate for your next sim work day <laughs> oh i'm so excited even though i was totally expecting that to happen it's fine oh wait can she call the the sadness hotline can she why can't i call it now all of a sudden i can't call it okay fine oh no she's probably because she's all happy now okay that's cool <laughs> that's the noise she made sounded like a freaking dinosaur like a raptor or something liam you're actually tired and we do have to go to work with you tomorrow you go to work at 10 what time is it now it's 10 you go to work in 12 hours so let's have you tinker with this a little because i think he does because it's this no he's not he's not getting the breakthrough thing what are what are the cogs let me know in the comments please i have i don't know what the cogs thing thingy is i thought maybe it would be for a breakthrough but it's not it's not for handiness it's not for a skill but maybe he'll learn something from it. But when he's on his way towards getting a breakthrough, it'll show the light bulb above his head and it will show like the progress he's making towards unlocking another breakthrough. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, I don't think that's that seems to be really working. Can we water these or anything? Oops, I meant to, no, nope, I meant to click on that. Did we take care of this one? We have to water and then weed this. So we have to have a lot more breakthroughs. We have to unlock a lot of stuff. But we're going to work with him in the next video. We will definitely make all the stuff that I totally forgot to make. We can finally make the Red Hot Serum, though. We'll make the Rose Perfume. I have to remember to make them. And the Hover Lamp. And hopefully we can upgrade our Simray and stuff. We have to work on their aspirations, too. I keep forgetting. <laughs> We can definitely get him a love. It doesn't have to be an alien, but I mean, I do, I do want an alien. So I'm pretty sure we will be meeting an alien with one of these Sims, whether it's from Olive with her x-ray machine or it's Rosie intimidating the heck out of a crim and making them feel really nervous or something and you know it, and having them exude some sort of aura because aliens do that or Liam um what doing something with his fun sciencey stuff or just making them laugh their their butts off because that's that's my plan um but yeah one way or another we're going to find them we're gonna meet him we're gonna be aliens um or uh just like i don't know i don't know so i'm going to take care of the mood bars the next video we'll we'll be going to work with liam the one after that we'll be hanging out with them outside of work we might have to wait until olive gets off work and just have liam take the day off because rosie i believe she doesn't have to go to work oh and then the one after that we'll go to work with olive probably so we can mess around with the x-ray machine <laughs> and I hope you're all having a great day or night wherever you are in the world and I will talk to you all later. Bye everyone!